you are about to watch a St. James sermon. Now, it's our prayer that as you watch the sermon, that time in God's Word will be a real blessing to you. But most importantly, that it will help you grow in your understanding of who God is and what it means to be a fully committed disciple of Jesus. Now, while we are super thankful for this online resource, we would love to meet you in person. So why not consider joining us on site at one of our services on a Sunday morning? We have one at 8 a.m. as well as 10 a.m. Being together with God's people is what church is really about. So we look forward to meeting you, getting to know you better, and also growing with you in becoming better disciples of Jesus. So why don't you think about joining us soon? For now, enjoy the sermon and God bless. Thanks, everyone. Take a seat. Chessy! Uncle Scott! Yo, yeah. oh, it's nice to be back, man. You it's like good it? Good to have people here. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? And they're not wearing mouth guards. Uh, you, you mean masks? Yeah, yeah, masks. It's yeah. so nice. I can see the smiles. Hello, boys and girls. Are you here? No, there's no boys and girls here, Uncle Scott. Maybe I must go home again. No, no, no. They're here. Boys and girls, everyone say, Hello, Chessy, on the count of three. One, two, three. Ah, there they are. Okay, okay. But Uncle Scott, you don't look like you, like you ready. W what do you mean? I've got my Bible, I've got my microphone, I'm, I'm ready for but this un morning. Uncle Scott, it's Easter. You must first to be get ready for Easter now. Well, you're right, Chesie. Easter, our Easter program starts next week. Uh, but what do you mean getting ready? What, are, what have you been doing? I'm ready for Easter. Look, I'm going to show you all my stuff. We must get ready. Here's the first thing. Okay, well, hey, uh, Chesie. That's one of those little marshmallow eggs, but uh, it, someone's already taken a bite out of this one. No, I just tasted it, man. You know, quality control. That's what I must do. Quality control, right. Gotcha. Okay. Well, you... you Is the eggs are getting ready? You've got your answer, eh? Can you catch? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, yeah, my favorite. That's a hot cross bun. Uncle Scott, take a bite. It tastes nice, that hot cross bun. Is it from Woolies? That's why you must take a bite. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the taste I know. Yeah, that's my favorite. Uncle Scott, how are you doing? You made it to a colored, but you don't share. Give me a stick. No, no, no. Give me a bite, Uncle Scott. Sorry, sorry. Here you go. Here we go. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, wait. My false teeth not working. Oh, I, do that. oh. I, I realized. One more bite. One more bite. No, no, I, I can't because I've realized, Jersey, not only do you not have teeth, I'm you're going to actually have a throat, but that's fine. And here's the next thing. You what else we got? Day. This is important, Jake, yeah, Cape Town. Okay. Don't, don't drop this one. Okay. Okay. Whoop. okay. Now, okay, this one's weird. This is, this is a, a dolphin. No, it is. It's, it is it's, it. it's got paper. What does it say? Mars pickled fish recipe. Yeah. That's a special recipe. That's my boss recipe. Two cups apple cider vinegar. Yes. No, oh, no, no, it's oh, a secret. Oh, secret, secret. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, okay. sorry. But you must have pickle fish and the last thing to get ready for Easter. Right. Catch. Yep, yep. Ah, uh, okay. Now this one, I don't understand. This is, this is a running shoe. What's, what's that got to do with yes, Easter? Uncle Scott, when it's Easter time, then we run there in the Southern Cross in the Constantia for the uh, oceans. So the two oceans. Yes, gotcha, gotcha, man. gotcha. I think it's a little big for you, but there's something in this one. What's it? Uh, this is a pack of Baker's Topper oh, no, Mint Scott. Biscuits. That's my breakfast, man. I was looking for that. Oh, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll pop okay. it back down there. Okay. And look, Chesy, you've gone to a lot of effort to get ready for Easter this year, and I love all the things that you've given us. But I think you're missing one of the most important things here at St. James if we're going to get ready for our Easter program that starts next week. Do you know what that is? I uh, don't, Uncle Scott. I'll tell you what, the easiest way to explain it to you is actually to get our Bible reader up and read us the part of the Bible, God's Word, where we're going to find out what that is this morning. And, and, but now, who's going to do this Bible reading for us? Hannah's going to do the Bible reading this morning. Oh, Hannah. I know Hannah. Do you know Hannah? Yeah, she comes here to our youth group. Excellent. Well, where's Hannah? Where is, Hannah? Uh, where is she now? She's a bit slow now. Oh, there she is. Oh, She's yes, sitting she... right there behind okay. me all the time. I've got the microphone. You, Wait. Hannah, say hello to me. High five. And then, <laughs> but as the world said, it came <laughs> Well done. Hannah, that mic's for you. Now, boys and girls, when Hannah reads, the words are going to go up on the screen as well. So if you're good and you've been, 
practicing at school and you can follow along. It's up there for the mums and dads too. Hannah, thanks so much for the reading. Good morning. Good morning, St. James. My name is Hannah and today I'll be doing the Bible reading. It's John 4, verse 31 to 38. In today's Bible reading, Jesus has been speaking to a woman, telling her that he is God's special king. The woman, the woman is amazed and runs to tell all her friends. The disciples miss the conversation because they are off buying lunch for Jesus. We pick up the story just as the disciples return. John 4, verse 31 to 38. While this was happening, Jesus' disciples were saying to him, Teacher, please eat something. But Jesus told them, I have food for you. You don't know anything about. His, his disciples started asking each other, Has someone brought him something to eat? Jesus said, My food is to do what God wants. He is the one who sent me, and I must finish the work that he gave to me to do. You may say there are still four months until harvest time, but I tell you to look, and you will see that the fields are ripe and ready to harvest. Even now the harvest workers are receiving the reward by gathering a harvest that brings eternal life. Then everyone who planted the seed and everyone who harvests the crop will celebrate together. So the saying proves true. Some plant the seed and others harvest the crop. I am sending you to harvest the crops in fields where others have done all the hard work. This is the word of the Lord. Harvest, planting, sowing. Uncle Scott, what's that got to do with Easter, man? Ah, we thought we must read about Jesus on the cross and him rising again. Now this thing is telling us we must be organic farmers. Now, Chesie, Jesus is talking about farming as a picture to explain what he wants us to do to get ready for Easter. Now, what's actually been going on here? Well, let's put the verse up on the screen. There it is. Can you see that, Chesie? I can see it. Jesus says, look... And you will see that the fields are ripe and ready for harvest. Now, boys and girls, when he talks about the fields, he's talking about the world. He's talking about your school and your sports team and your family, everyone. And when he says it's ready for harvest, it means that people are ready for Jesus. Now, that's great news. And that's really important to know as we go into Easter. Jesus is saying that if you look at the world the way that he looks at the world, you will see that people are ready for a saviour. But, but Uncle Scott, what does Jesus want me to see? Are you still not able to get a chest? Oh, Uncle Scott, man, my eyes are not so good. Maybe if I wear your glasses, then I can, I can understand what you say. You, you want to try my glasses? Yes, because I want to see what Jesus wants me to see. They put, put that on. Okay, well, well, we can try. I think this is going to be a challenge because I've also just realized, Chesie, you don't actually have ears. Yeah, it's hard for me to listen. Yeah, yeah, okay. So let's just turn around there so everyone can see. Okay, now you've got my glasses on, Chesie. Uncle Scott. You've got the verse on the screen. Is it? Are you seeing what Jesus wants you to see? All I see is on the Ailey. Ah, Oh, I know your glasses. Ah, you only got eyes for one lady. Yeah, well. Oh, and no wonder she's smiling. Yeah, no well. wonder you preach so quiet. She's smiling at you all the <laughs> time when you talk, when you talk, when you talk. Cheers, cheers. That's what I'm see. I see Ailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are my glasses for me. I'll tell you what's going to help you see what Jesus wants you to see this morning, Chesie. I've got another set of glasses here sure. that might actually do the trick. They're special yeah, they glasses. Do. They're they're, no, no, they're glasses that everyone here can put on. Let me put them on for you and see if it makes sense this time. There we go. Oh, now I see. I can see that there's lots of people ready to hear about Jesus. You've got to turn your head this way, mate. Because, no, ah, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. There we go. Oh, put it over my eyes. No, I can't. Oh, okay. That, 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 that works. That works. Yes. That, that helps your mind to see. I got you. Now, Chesie, these are like looking at the world the way that Jesus looks at the world. That's what our verse is telling us. He says, look around. The world is not what you think it is. The poor disciples who were there in the Samaritan town, they saw the Samaritans as their enemies. They didn't think the Samaritans had any interest in Jesus at all. So they made assumptions about people. And they thought people don't care about Jesus. People aren't interested about Jesus. But Jesus is telling his disciples, open your eyes because all these people in the town 
are falling over themselves to come to me and hear the good news that I am the saviour of the world. Jesus wants us to open our eyes as well so that this year at Easter, we realise the people who we least expect might be interested in finding out about Jesus could be very, very close to taking that next step toward him. Now, Chesie, I've got a great way that we can actually help people remember this, right? Uncle Scott, so, I also want to remember it. So how are we going to do it now? So I'm going to get a volunteer. I need uh, a boy or a girl to come up and help me here on stage just for a few minutes. Is anyone keen to come up and help? Just put your hand in the air. The first hand I see. There we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on down, come on down, come on down. We're going to use you next time. Okay, here we go. Now I want you to give me your hands, both hands. We're going to cross over and we're going to go one, two, three. There we go. Okay, now you got to stand right here and you're going to put these glasses on your head. There we go. We've got the Jesus glasses. All right, now we're going to do an action. So you stand back so you can see me and we're going to do the action together and everyone's going to see the action and we're all going to do it together. Okay, but before we do the action, I've got to run back to my music stand because I forgot what I meant to say. Okay, there we go. All right, I remember, I remember. Here we go. Everybody take your hand and put it like a shield over your eyes because we're looking and we're going to say, look, people are ready for Jesus. Okay, you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Look, people are ready for Jesus. That's pretty good. You can put your hands down. Okay, now that's what Jesus says. Look and you'll see. The people are ready for Jesus. The fields are ready for harvest. We're going to try it one more time. Here we go. One, two, three. Look, people are ready for Jesus. Jesus. Fantastic. Now, you can take those off because you're going to get a headache if you get that. And I want you to sit at the front with your legs dangling over the edge. Oh, there we go. Super. You hang on to those and I'm going to use you again soon. Okay. So that's our first point, Jesse. Uh, that's got, yeah. that, that's that's very important and, and, and exciting, but... But sometimes, you know, Easter's sad, man, Uncle Scott, man, because that's when Jesus died. So sometimes I always feel sad at Easter. Look, look, the story of Jesus dying on the cross is very sad, Cheesy, but it's not only sad. There's a lot of good news at Easter too. In fact, our next verse tells us that we've got something to rejoice about at Easter. Let's put that next verse up on the screen. Have a look, everyone. Jesus says, even now the harvest workers are receiving their reward because they're gathering a harvest that brings eternal life. Then everyone who planted the seed and everyone who harvests the crop will celebrate together. They're going to rejoice together. It's going to be fantastic because as people are being told about Jesus, guess what they get, Chessie? Uh, uh, eternal life. Eternal life. And, and when we see people moving from eternal death into eternal life because they put their trust in Jesus, we rejoice. Everyone is happy together because people are coming to Jesus for eternal life. But but Uncle Scott, et- eternal life is that like um on the on the movie with the with the, the vampires? What's his name? Ben, uh, uh, Twilight. Then they live forever. Is that eternal life? What? No, no, Chesie. I reckon if you want to know about eternal life, don't watch vampire movies. You should read your Bible. What are you watching vampire movies for? You're way too young for that. No, I'm getting older for Scott Smith. Oh, okay, well, actually, you do have a goatee, so that's probably fair enough. Um, you're a very odd young man, Chesie, but that's fine. Eternal life means that when you start a friendship with Jesus, he will never let you go. Even when your body dies, you will live forever and you will be with him in heaven. And that's just the best news of all. But here's the great news, everybody. Eternal life is happening because people are working to tell others about Jesus. Now, mums and dads and boys and girls, I want you to think about the work you did this week. It might have been work in an office. It might have been work at school. It might have been work at home. And I want you to think about that work and I want you to tell me how much of what you did will last forever. I'm guessing not much because there's always new deadlines and there's always new projects. And as soon as you cook food, it gets eaten. And as soon as you tidy the house, it gets dirty again. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, yeah. So guess what? Unless you're a bricklayer who maybe can build a house and say, 
I build a house that will last a lifetime, but even that doesn't last forever. There's only one thing that you work at that lasts forever, and that is your work as a disciple of Jesus. Because the verse on the screen tells us that when we work for Jesus by telling others about him, that work lasts for eternal life. It lasts forever. Cheesy, that's the best work you can do. And that is a great way to get ready for Easter this year. Yeah, of course, Scott. Now, now, how are we going to remember this one about not being sad, but rejoicing at Easter? Okay, so we're going to get someone else to come and help us. Now, there was another hand up the back here that I said, yeah, there we go, there we go. Yep, you come down, you come down. Now, we've got something else that's going to help remind us. We're going to remember this action. Okay, you're going to give me your arms. I'm going to give you a boost up. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. All right. I hope the physio bills don't cost too much. Now, I want you to hold this because can you see what that is? It's like a, 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 a happy party emoji, right? Because we can rejoice because of eternal life, all right? Now, you just stand there for a minute. Now, when we rejoice, we want to be really excited. We want to be really happy. And so I think the action we're going to use for that is we're going to do like the opposite of a fist bump. You know, when you pull, you go, yes. You know, when you pull it down, yes. Okay, everyone try that. Yes. yes. We're excited. This is good, right? And we're going to say, yes, eternal life is here. You with me? Okay. Now, can you hold that with one hand and do that with the other hand? See if you can try that. Okay, we're going to do it on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Yes. Eternal life is here. Fantastic. Now, let's stand up with the big glasses. Okay, we're going to do this one again as well. Here we go. All right, now we've got our two helpers. You going to put the glasses on again? Now, do you remember the action from the first one? And what do we have to say? Look. Yeah, Chesie, help us out. Look, people are ready for Jesus. Thank you, Chesie. Someone's paying attention. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Look, look. people are ready people. for Jesus. And now let's do our second one. Yes. yes. Eternal life is here. Guys, you're doing a great job. Boys, I want you to stay up here, but I want you to sit down and you can put those things down again for me. Now, Chesie, we're getting close to the end of our lesson for this morning. There we go. You can sit down. Oh, they look fantastic. Nervous, Uncle Scott. No, they're doing so well. They're doing so well. Now, Chesie, after we know that eternal life is here and people are ready for Jesus, there's only one thing left to do, and that is for us to tell other people. No. no. Yeah. Uncle Scott, but I get nervous to, to talk, man. You know, I'm not much of a talker. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm too scared to tell people, Uncle Scott. Chesie, I feel that way too sometimes. I, I kind of understand. I think a lot of us do. But we're going to read one more verse, and that is going to give us confidence to talk to people about Easter this year. Here's the verse. Jesus says, I am sending you in to harvest crops in fields where others have done all the hard work. Jesus is sending us. But he's not sending us alone. There are lots of people who are helping others to hear about Jesus. We just have one little job, just the one little thing that's right in front of us. And then God takes all of that work and he combines it with all the work of everyone else at St. James and all over Cape Town. And then he uses that to make sure that people can find eternal life. It's not all on us. We only have to do one little thing when we tell, and our one little step God uses for great rewards. So, so Uncle Scott, when, when I pray for my friends or, or I invite my friends to come to Kids Club, are you saying that that's me doing work with, with all other Christians? Absolutely. If you just invite a friend to Kids Club or church, that's you doing work for Jesus. Sure. So, so I can do it, but uh, and I can do it with the boys and girls here. Absolutely. We must all share in this work together because like the verse says on the screen, others have done all the hard work and we're just joining in and doing our little bit. And that's why we can tell people with confidence this year at Easter because it's not all on you. Isn't that good news? That's good news, Uncle Scott. So it's not so scary to tell people about Jesus. Not when God's got it covered and God is looking after every little thing you do. Sure. Uncle Scott, this is the best way to get ready for Easter. But I uh, just want to remember this last point. So, so we got those. 
Those two, I can't see. Is it boys or girls up there? We got two boys already. We need a girl this time. Uh, is there a girl? On? Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. We had about six hands pop up there. So that's a lot of enthusiasm. I'm gonna I'm gonna give extra points for that. Oh, we got two girls. Okay, come on down. Why not? Okay, you want a boost as well? Well, oh, you don't you don't need mine. Oh, look at that. Okay, come on down too. Come come come. Because we've got a big poster, so we need a few. Okay, we got lots of people coming down. Okay. Yeah, you go up the stairs. That's fine. Okay. They listen to the squad. They're working together. You've done very well. Right in the center is perfect. Thanks, guys. So one, two, three, four. I'm loving this. Now, this poster's big. It's not quite this big, but we're going to help it. So can we hold that? Can you all put a hand on that there and hold it up nice and high? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now, this poster says, keep calm and tell. Keep calm and tell. So what we want to remember as we're telling people about Jesus, I could scratch your pages. Is oh, my pages are blown away. Yeah. We want to tell everyone because we all work together. Tell everyone because we all work together. But because God's got it covered, our action is going to be like wiping sweat off your brow. Like what a relief. Well, you go, for you. Everyone try that? For you. you. Okay. Tell everyone because we all work together. Let's try it. One, two, three. For you. Tell everyone because we all work together. There we go. Look, rejoice, and tell. If you can remember those three words, you've got this part of John chapter 4 down. So, boys, why don't you stand up, hold up your props. Let's put on the glasses again. And we're going to do all these three in a row. And I'm going to find my bit of paper because I need to remember all the things as well. Okay, here we go. Remember, look, rejoice, and tell. The action, look, look. and then we're going to rejoice, and then Whew, we're going to tell. Okay, here we go. Let's try from the top. One, two, three. Look, people are ready for Jesus. One, two, three. Rejoice. Eternal life is here. I'm sorry. I was quite, don't worry. It must be an hot cross bun you ate, man. You are, I'll tell you. It's driving. Okay, remember we go, yes, eternal life is here. Okay, let's try this one again. One, two, three. Yes, eternal life is here. And then this one is tell everyone because we all work together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Phew. Tell everyone because we all work together. Folks, why don't you give our three helpers a big round of applause? Thank you, guys. You can go take a seat. Thanks, guys. He's I was quite, I think, I think you need a bit of a break, man. So, so what's coming up next? Mate, I'm exhausted. I'll tell you what's coming up next, Chessy. Oh my goodness. Okay, don't jump. Don't jump. Don't do it. Oh, man. Uncle Scott, don't worry. They sign indemnity forms when they come here. Ah, yeah, that's okay. Love that indemnity form. Helps me sleep at night. Okay, Chesy, what's coming up next is collection. Collection. Uncle Scott, I'm going to quickly run to the car. What the, what the five rands there? You know, it's the ashtray. Okay, yeah. good. I'm going to go fetch that for the collection bag. I, okay, I'll let you go and we'll get started here. Okay, thanks, Jesse. Hey, folks, we are going to take up the collection now. Uh, if you are a guest uh, and you'd like to pop something in the bag, that's fine. If not, just pass it along. And uh, we'll be back together in just a moment. Take this chance to greet those you're sitting with and catch up and find out how their weekend was. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's come back together. A little bit of a uh, little bit of family news now as we get ready for Easter. If you've been with us here term one at St James, you'll know that last week we finished our series, our preaching series on the I Am statements of Jesus. Next Sunday is the beginning of Easter for us here at St James, Palm Sunday, and then Good Friday. And then Easter Sunday. This week is the hinge at our all-age service so that we can get ready for Easter, which is just around the corner. And so what we have organized is uh, a couple of bits of advertising, which will help you and your friends. We've got hard copies, but we're also going to send it to you digitally as well. The big one is for you if you are a regular. It's got all our dates 
and the names of people who are preaching and the passages they're preaching on and all the details you need. But what's really important this Easter, as you've heard Chesie and I talk about, is that we go and invite friends to come join us because the harvest is ready and the workers have been sent out and Jesus is waiting to give eternal life. So we've made a little invitation. You'll see it there on the screen. And it's really simple. It's just got the bare details. And it is there for you to use to invite a friend. And you can give it to them in a hard copy. You can send it to them on WhatsApp. And they're going to be able to join us this year at Easter. Now, if like Chesy and like me, you're a little bit nervous about inviting friends, we've tried to make it as easy as possible. So boys and girls, we're going to watch a video now. And uh, mums and dads, this is for you too. This is how to invite someone this year at Easter. Gee, we've come to that time of the year, Easter, one of the pinnacle events on the Christian oh, calendar. Oh, that's right, Leighton. The occasion is imminent. This event is so important, it calls for contemplation, mm. reflection, yes. celebration, mm. and invitation. Invitation. Now, that is something everyone at St. James can do this year, mm. is invite. Absolutely. Three simple ways. Simple steps. Think of someone and pray for them. Send them straight to God. Step two, send them the digital invite. Right. WhatsApp only. And step three, plan for your friend's visit. Because as Fergie used to say, proper planning prevents poor performance. Take us, Fergie. Now, Take ladies, us. we've got uh, Yannick Charles here on the couch. He's putting this three-step game plan into action. I see, I see he's on step one. Ooh. He's deep in thought. He Names of someone we can invite. are running through his head. I think he's narrowed it down. I've never seen Yannick think so deeply before. But wait, he's found it. He's, he he's got someone. And look at this. Oh, straight to prayer. He has turned it to the Lord. Yannick. What a way to invite a friend. Step one done smoothly, even smoother than when Yannick GHD is his hair. Absolutely. All right, on to step two. He's ready to go. He's taken out his phone, and here's the problem. Oh, I think we've hit a distraction. Ah, oh, misdirection, G. Misdirection. The social apps are open. He's laughing. He's TikToking. Back on track, Yannick. Oh, the focus is there. What? It, WhatsApp's open. Oh yes. I see Hunter's name going in. Oh yes, he's adding the invite. Oh, we're getting close, G. We're getting we close. Go. I see an emoji. Oh, absolutely. He's gonna click send. Is he gonna Come do on, it? Come brother, Yannick, take us. He has he's seen it. it. Yes. Oh yes. See. That elation after sending that invitation. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Sensational stuff. Now look, he's already moved on to step three. He is preparing for the visit of his friend. He wants to make it as easy and as simple as one, two, three. And gee, that is how it's so easy to invite a friend this year to Easter at St. James. You'll see the how to invite was up there on the screen, those three simple steps. Think of a friend and pray for them. Send them the digital invite and then plan for their visit. Are you going to meet them in the car park? Are you going to meet them in the foyer? Uh, boys and girls, you want to have a sleepover on Saturday night and bring your friends straight to church? How are you going to do it? You've got to make a plan. You've got to make it as easy as possible so that everyone can join us. Now, I'm going to get you to do something I've never asked you to do before. I want you to reach for your phones. I want you to take out your phone because if you are on one of our WhatsApp groups, during that video, we have just sent you the digital invite. It's sitting there for you to use right now. Don't use it yet, but can you see? Now, if you're looking at your WhatsApp and you didn't get any message, it's probably because you're not in one of our WhatsApp groups. But if you're looking at your phone and you can see it, just hold your phone up to say, yeah, I got it. Yeah, everyone's waving their phones, right? We've got those digital invites. They're there ready for you to use. You can send them this afternoon. You can send them tomorrow morning and help people join us here at Easter. If you didn't get one and you're feeling a little bit of FOMO, like you're missing out, I totally understand that, but we've got you covered too. It means that you're either not in our database or you're not in one of our WhatsApp groups. And the easiest way to fix that is to fill out our census form. We're doing a census review for our database in March. And after the service, in the chapel behind me, there are chairs and tables set up. We've got consultants there with their devices. You go and sit with them for three minutes and they'll make sure that you get on our census. 
and you won't miss any more news or invites from the WhatsApps. Next week at our Palm Sunday service, we're having a combined church service with our church plant, our student church plant, Red Post. Cameron Shabungu is going to be preaching for us because he's the minister at Red Post. And all of Red Post are coming to join us at 10 a.m. next week for a combined way to start our Easter program. And they're going to be celebrating together with us by selling bury rolls after the service out in the courtyard because they've got a combined camp with our St. James Young adults. Yeah. What did you say they're selling afterwards? Um, bury rolls? Budavos rolls. Yeah. Look here, Uncle Scott. If there's one thing this church can do is sell Budavos rolls, right? Eh? That's so, right. So the people must come. I know it's a bit confusing because Rob is from, from Britain and now he wants to bribe. But don't worry, he's one of us. Yeah. So he's a British guy who knows how to bribe. Absolutely. So yeah. People must come with their Tupperware buckies and everything and then we're going to eat, eat, eat. Lekka Budavos rolls. Well, they come. The people don't look like they're going to come. No, they're very excited, Chesie. They're very excited. Okay. Br- bring a bit of cash and you can get an early lunch next week as we bride together after the service for the beginning of our Easter event combined with Red Post. It's going to be great. All right. We're going to spend some time in prayer now. So, um, but before we do that, we're going to do it in three parts. The, we know what they are, don't we? The first one is look the people are ready for Jesus. You ready? Right, let's pray. Boys and girls, eyes closed. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you love people. Thank you that you don't care about where we come from or what we've done. That you see our greatest need, even if we can't see it ourselves. We need you to save us from the punishment we deserve for our sin. Thank you that you are willing to die for us even though we have turned our backs on you and chosen to do things our own way. Thank you that all we need to do is trust in you to save us. Lord, when we look around us, we see so many people who are lost and without hope. Help us to see them the way you see them, as people who need Jesus and who are ready to hear about you. Give us your heart for those who don't know you and help us to really believe your words. The fields are ready for harvest. Please help us to look and see that people around us are ready for you. Amen. Uh, Before we continue in prayer, um, just to remind us about our second part of the lesson, which is yes. Eternal life is here. Let's bow our heads, close eyes and pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, this morning you want to say, wow. Wow, because death is such a sad thing. Yet we can come before you today and be glad about Jesus' death. We can be glad and rejoice because on the cross Jesus conquered death and he rose from the grave to give us eternal life. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, you are an awesome king, an amazing king who would free us from sin and its consequences. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for every person who you've saved, who've put their trust in you and has received forgiveness of their sins and who have a great hope of eternal life with you. Lord, we look forward to that day. We are excited for it. And we rejoice because of you. The harvest is ready. So Lord, this Easter, I pray that more people will hear and believe so that they too can have eternal life and we can rejoice together with him. Amen. Our last one was tell, tell others because we're not working alone. All right, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, we have heard from your word today that we have a task to do. We need to hold out the wonderful news of Jesus Christ to those who do not yet believe. If we are honest, most of us find this very hard to do. We are afraid to offend or to be made fun of. Sometimes we may even think that someone is beyond saving. 
We are more scared about what people will say than about the fact that they may spend forever without you in heaven. Please forgive us, Lord. Forgive our arrogance and selfishness. Please help us to be brave and courageous to tell our friends and family about you. Not because you need us, but because you are the one who will do the work in their hearts. You love them more than we do, and you are powerful to save them. Please help our view of you be bigger than our fears. Help us to trust you to do the work. We pray that you will help us this Easter to invite someone to come to church so that they can hear about how much you love them and how you sent your son to die for them. Please help us to remember that someone told us about Jesus. Someone invited us to church. We pray that this Easter people will trust in Jesus for the first time, that they will know what wonderful hope of, the wonderful hope of belonging to you. Help us to tell and trust you. Amen. Now, Chesie, before we finish up this morning, I think it'd be really worthwhile going through those actions one more time, don't you? Yes, Uncle Scott. I, I, I remember it, but I want all of us to do it, Uncle Scott. We can do it together. Can you remind us of the first thing we need to say? Look, people are ready for Jesus. Okay, on the count of three, you ready, folks? You know the actions. Here we go. One, two, three. Look, people are ready for Jesus. Excellent. What's the second one, Chesie? Yes. Rejoice. Eternal life is here. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Yes. Rejoice. Eternal life is here. And then the third one. Whew. Tell everyone because we all work together. One, two, three. Whew. Tell everyone because we all work together. There we go. Boys and girls, you need to test mum and dad over lunch. Granny and Grandpa, and make sure they remember all three of those very important lessons from John chapter 4. Chesie? Uncle Scott, thank you for helping me get ready properly for Easter. And I already thought of a friend who I'm going to invite. They was Marvin. Really? Yeah. And so I'm going to go now, and I'm going to send Marvin the... the I'm first going to pray for him. Yeah. And then I'm going to send him the invite. Yep. And then I'm going to plan where I'm going to meet him. Because, you know, I only live here, man. So it might be tricky. I'm going to plan maybe meet him in the foyer or when he comes. Fantastic. Chesie, I'm so excited that this morning has got you ready to invite your friend Marvin. And I hope for all of us, we are thinking now toward next week and the services that follow about who we might invite. Just a reminder before we go, you've got the invite already on your WhatsApp. If that's what you plan to use, go for it. If you don't have a phone, you don't use WhatsApp or you'd like a hard copy, we have some of the invites hard copy down here around the front of the stage as you leave. But if you plan on using the one on your phone, don't grab these. They're only for people who won't be using their phone. And then our Easter program card for you as regulars is also down the front. You must come and grab one of those as well. Just a reminder, if you didn't get a ping on your phone during the video, in the chapel after the service, there's a team of people there to help you sign up on the census so that we'll have your details and you won't miss out anymore. Well, folks, before we pray and we head on our way, someone handed me, here it is, uh, a bank card that got dropped. So if you check your pockets and realize that you gave a little more than you expected in collection, then you can come and let me know. And uh, that, That's my bank card. No, it's not, Chessie. It certainly does not have your name on it. Nice try, though. Okay, folks, we're going to pray. Let's close our eyes. Father, thank you for this morning. Uh, we thank you for this church, which belongs to you. We thank you for our friends and family. And we thank you for those who are not yet here, but will hopefully be joining us soon. Father, give us a heart for the world and eyes to see what maybe we haven't seen until now. And we pray that you'll give us a great day together and a good week ahead in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. <laughs>